Hello, good morning. <laughs> Alrighty. I guess I'll, I'll kick off the questions. Um, so, you know, the, you're part of this like CW show, Legends of Tomorrow, but I, I know your back history is more in theater. When you got that call to do a show like this, I mean, what was your emotion? I mean, obviously I was ecstatic. I, I went into the audition being like, this is my first time testing for a TV show. Like, it's probably not going to happen. And then it did. <laughs> and uh, I was really excited, especially to play a Supergirl. Like, So I guess coming from theater, you you bring a lot of physicality to the role, right? Yeah, yeah, I love I love doing stunts. I love um, getting to pretend I have wings coming out of my bag. Like <laughs> that's really good. Cool. Oh well, uh, what do you think uh, this, the female superheroes are are going to TV first than the movies? I love it. I think we need more superheroes in general. I think we need a, a female-led TV show, you know, where's that at? So, uh, I think it's great. Do you think it has changed the, the public, the audience? Uh, apparently there was this idea that girls didn't like superhero stories. Oh my god, of course we do. I've always loved it. As a kid, I used to watch Justice League and everything like that. Like, I love that. Of course we love that. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely heading in a better direction. There's definitely more heroines coming out, but I think we need a little bit this time. <laughs> In reference to the Justice League cartoon mm -hmm. series, which your character was featured in very heavily, um, yeah. your character has one of the most revised and retconned histories in DC Comics. I mean, reading with the kids is like, it gets kind of crazy. Yeah. What have they done to kind of streamline that mythos for the background of the world? Um, I mean, we're just thinking the reincarnation. That's the storyline we're working on, but I think what's great is that they've created something where they have a lot of possibilities. Like, we can go backwards and forwards in time and find all different kinds of hot girls. We also have a different universe in Flash. We have a different world, you know, we've brought her two into it. So, I think the possibility to have more of a complicated storyline later on is, is a bit Have you sat down with, like, Greg and the other producers to talk about things like Hawk World and Planetar? I mean, they sent me all of the comics as soon as I was cast, so, and I've been reading them and really enjoying them, actually. Um, you know, right now, I think we're all just trying to get through the, the beginnings, you know, the origin of... She really... Kendra doesn't know who she is. She didn't know that she had powers. She didn't know that she had a soulmate. She didn't know that she was reincarnated. So right now, she's just kind of figuring all of that out. What's your so, favorite episode that you recorded so far? Oh, uh... <laughs> Well, we actually just finished the pilot. It's crazy though, like, in TV you don't get to see anything. So it's like, even if I like love recording it, I have no idea what it looks like. You know, you know and I'm sure it's going to be great, but I don't know. All of the ideas we have thus far, all of the scripts I've gotten, are just like, every time I read them, like, such a good idea, you know? But I, I just have no idea what any of it looks like. But so, so we get to see, um, if, when you bring the character, you said it's, you know, she doesn't know about her past. I mean, when you switch to other times, is it always sort of a question of her realizing that I lived in this past, this is who I am? I think that's kind of what we're playing, is that she never really remembers how long I passed right. And it's just like, does that change your performance? Like, I mean, do you have to play the characters if she has this sort of strange knowledge and fear of that, that past, or...? Um, yeah, I mean, I think when she first starts remembering and having visions of the past, it's very shocking and jarring to her and doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think having Hoffman in there to kind of guide her through it is helpful. And then, you know, un unleashing those kinds of memories and that kind of wisdom and knowledge about the world, I think is really going to do something to her character. She's not going to be a little place and I don't understand this. After a while, I think it's she's going to kind of drop down and be like, oh, I've seen that before. I know that. So we got to see her a little bit um, in the final episode of the season one of The Flash. Are we going to see her more in The Flash as well? And then um, also in Legends of Tomorrow? And Arrow. 
And Arrow? I want all the things. My god, you're doing oh, a free show. Yeah. Following up on that, that kind of leads to what I was going to actually ask. A while ago, there were rumors of your character getting her own spin-off show. CW came back and said that's... I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for it. But <laughs> but was there any kernel of truth in that? Just pure... Oh, and, it. it sounds like you, more than some of the other characters, are popping up on all I of think it's shows. mostly because I'm the newest. I, I don't have an origin like everybody else does. Like, uh, Fire... Firestorm has been on Flash, Stein has been on Flash, um, Dominic and Wentworth were on Flash, and Katie was on Arrow, and Ren was on Arrow, so they've all kind of started, They before they'd all started on the other shows basically, and I, I didn't have an origin, so I think that's why we're really using the Flash and Arrow to sort of story that story. Can you talk about how we meet you there? Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm one, I, I just moved to Center City with Flash. Uh, I guess it was a small town girl, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta figure out who I am. I think she's always kind of known that there's something weird about who she knew it was, and so I think she makes this big change to find out, and she does end up finding out. <laughs> Oh, well, this uh, opportunity of playing superheroes uh, in TV and movies has changed the, uh, the dynamics of an actor, the way they study. Like you read less Shakespeare and read more Marvel and DC. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that's very true. I I was never a comic book person, and now I am. I have to read them all the time, but I definitely do try to read my Shakespeare stuff. <laughs> okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.